Have you ever had a tech question that seemed simple, but you couldn't find an answer to it and were a little too afraid to post on a forum lest you incur the scorn of people who live and breathe tech? It's intimidating. We are gonna answer some real questions we found online that will hopefully help some of you too. Let's start out with one that affects both the hardcore gamer and the home office worker alike. The fans in your computer are rattling to the point it's driving you insane. How do you fix it? Well, with all the wires that can cross every which way inside of a computer case, it's entirely possible that one of them is hitting up against your fan blades if you've bumped your system recently. So do a quick sanity check and look inside your PC for any physical obstructions. If your fan blades aren't running into anything, try cleaning off any dust you see on them as a thick enough layer can also throw off the motion of the blades and make them rattle. Another good idea is to make sure they're all screwed inside your case snugly as loose fans can rattle against the case and cause all kinds Kinds of racket. <laughs> but if none of that solves your problem, you can try lubricating the fan's bearings with a couple drops of machine oil, assuming the fan isn't sealed. As a last resort, just replace the fan. You don't need to spend much money to get one that'll actually stay quiet. Now let's move on and talk about what you should do if you need to take a PC or computer components with you on an airplane, say to a faraway land event, maybe on a mountain. Is this something that should cause you concern? Well, in terms of getting through security or a baggage screening, you shouldn't have too many problems. The main electronic item that you can't put in your checked baggage these days is a loose lithium battery. These batteries can be a fire hazard and fires have been the cause of many infamous plane crashes, whether it's from damage to the aircraft itself or incapacitation of the pilots. They are allowed on carry-on bags though. If there's a fire in the passenger cabin, someone can at least notice and put it out, hopefully. But the average desktop PC shouldn't have a lithium battery, so you shouldn't have issues at security. The bigger thing to keep in mind is that heavy parts, especially graphics cards, can get jostled around in flight, so you might wanna take those out and pack them separately. And yes, you can take an AIO water cooler through as well, despite the restriction on liquids. This is special liquid. Speaking of graphics cards, we have one more crucial tip for you right after we thank Secret Lab for sponsoring this video. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you incredibly comfortable for long hours at work and play. Their Titan Evo 2022 chair features four-way lumbar support, ultra comfy lines of different seat materials, and more. All chairs come with up to a five-year extended warranty and a 49-day return policy, so head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. With big name game titles asking for more and more VRAM these days, especially if you're playing at higher resolutions or settings, we often see people ask if they can add more VRAM to their graphics card. In short, the answer is unfortunately, no, you can't even download it. VRAM on modern graphics cards is soldered on and not expandable. Modern VRAM has to be rather tightly integrated with the GPU itself due to how quickly data flows between them, meaning that expandable memory would likely sacrifice performance and reliability. Although a few cards that actually had slots for additional VRAM existed in the fairly distant past, trying to jury rig additional VRAM modules onto your card these days with a soldering iron probably won't work and could even end up breaking your expensive card. If you're hitting VRAM limits, turn down your settings and play at a lower resolution. And if you're in the market for a new card, make sure that you're picking one that has enough VRAM for the games you want to play. What are some of your simple questions you're afraid to ask? Let us know in the comments and you might see them in a future episode. Ooh. But that's it for this episode. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. Tech Quickie. We got so many answers up in our brains up here, they're, they're exploding, they're almost exploding.